testing out the setup. We're getting the kinks out early this time for once. You like that bike? I like that bike. This is my birthday weekend ride. I'm, I'm milking my birthday, by the way. Yeah, how many days? Should have brought the balloons. Is it still January? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Okay. I know, I just go from the 28th to the end of the month. Yeah. Once February hits, then, then we're... Then your birthday's over. Yeah, then it's over. Do I get to listen to some of my music? No. <gasps> You've been listening to your music. We haven't listened to anything yet. Oh. Uh, sure. Why not? There we go. Like, where am I gonna put this thing? Our journey begins. around the Ote Reservoir. Oh. <laughs> Well, the good news is that we're going up, so this is probably the wettest part of it. Right. It's weird. It's like we have to learn a whole new skill because mm -hmm. it's a lot different than bike touring, even just the filming process. Because usually when we're on a road, I have plenty of time to grab the camera out and take a shot. But here, everything's so tight and twisty that you have to stop a lot more or, I don't yeah. know, it's just different. It's like a whole different thing. I like it. Oh. I like being in nature. 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 Really? Oh well, it's not, it's doable. Is it muddy over there? It's like super muddy right here. Oh, you know, I'm gonna go around. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's so slippery. Oh, shh. It's cause it's like silty sand mud. I like riding on dirt. You like riding on dirt? I like riding on dirt. I used to be so afraid of gravel. I didn't like that feeling when you'd slip a little bit. Ah. And then, I think just doing it over and over again, I got used to it. Yeah. You feel like you're gonna lose a little control. Yeah. And then you realize... You won't fall you if you fall. just relax. As as you don't slam on. Yeah, you just have to relax. You can let your bike slide a little bit. It's okay. It's not gonna give out. You just can't seize up. But it takes some getting used to it, but now I, I love it. I think like learning how to skid too, like like when you're a kid and you'd slam your brakes on on your bike and try to make a skid mark <laughs> in the road. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Darren, here we go. Nice. I think practicing that is good too, because then you start to get used to the feeling of control, of how you can have control doing it. 
<gasps> I murdered. You just conquered that hill. I just conquered that. You guys should have heard the noises Darren was making. She was like, ah, ah. You got something? Yeah, oh, we, we were going through the forest. Yeah, we had to like climb through there. That's so steep. I think it's the tires. It's the tires? <laughs> I don't know, it just, it's nimble. <laughs> Go on. Oh, you did a good job. Yes, I'm over 30. And yes, I may have thrown my back out <laughs> when I was putting the bike in the car and it hurts so bad every time I breathe. It's like my rib is impinging. I like can't take a deep breath. No. Oh, it just hurts. It doesn't really hurt to bike, like the muscles. It's just breathing. Just breathing hurts. <sighs> My turn, I got my, my lambs boots on today, these are quite comfy, barefoot shoes. <laughs> there were some parts that I was like, oh 45%, that'll be fun. I was like, Darren, are we going the right way? She's like, I think so. But I'm noticing that having to like walk the bikes, which we didn't have to do too often when we were road touring, but occasionally, it's it's a lot nicer when you're just kind of in nature and there's no pressure, no cars, no traffic, no, no noise really. Mm -mm. It's like it's still an effort, but it feels a little bit more enjoyable. And then you're it just becomes now, the physical challenge. And well, we haven't climbed to 3,000 yet. <laughs> shape. I'm enjoying myself, but I am out of shape. <laughs> I feel a little nauseous. Mm, have your goo. I have my goo. Darren always forgets to eat. Yeah. I have a beautiful view of the prison, mm -hmm. but actually what we have a view of is Darren's sweet mm -hmm. ULTD. Oh. I'm liking that bike. Yeah. I'm liking that bike. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I rode it on my birthday and I was like, oh, this is fun. <sighs> okay, time to have some Leftover hamburger <laughs> from our from the birthday dinner. birthday dinner. Got some nuts and dried fruit, and some vitamin water. Goo. Goo. Now we are on the Jeep track road. A little less interesting. Gonna take this quite a ways. I think another seven miles. It's so funny because on the road, <laughs> seven miles is like eh, nothing. When you're bumping along on that single track, it's a struggle. <laughs> There's Tijuana, Mexico, the border. There's the wall. We gotta go, we gotta go to Mexico. Baja Divide, let's do this.
little more lush. We just had a lot of rains. It's making it really cool and just a different environment up here. Really nice. <laughs> it's the first other biker we've seen out here. Really nice. Uh huh. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like so refreshing. Wilderness. Yeah, so we are on um, BLM land, Bureau of Land Management. And it's just wilderness land, so you can camp wherever you want. So we're just gonna find a place somewhere flat ish. <laughs> we'll find a spot. Wow, look at the sun. All right, we are both pretty toasted from that climbing. So I think we're just gonna try to find a camp spot here. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. No, I'm, I'm tired too. I was just feeling like, man, I haven't gotten enough sleep. Like, I think we were both kind of stressed about this. Like we haven't done a, a ride in so long and we're new to bikepacking. So, you know, everything's always a little scary and intimidating the first few times you do it. I had a bug for like two weeks. Yeah, and you were sick for two weeks, like Lost really like ill. Pounds. Lost like seven pounds of muscle mass. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm tired. Bad. Well, and then it's like, oh, yeah. you know, we're just going up to, I can't see. We're going up to this point up there. Yeah. And then tomorrow it's just all downhill, but like, why not just split it? Yeah. So we've probably already done 3,000 feet and a lot of it on like bumpy terrain. <laughs> I'm tired. We earned it. We were gonna bring some beers and then we kind of forgot them and also our stomachs were hurting because we went out to eat last night for the first time in a year. Patio dining, of course. Yeah. It was very greasy, it was delicious. But uh, we were, <laughs> I think both of our stomachs were not ready for that. <laughs> uh, this is nice, this is beautiful. We got a nice view this way. It's crazy, just the oceans right over there. Yeah, this is perfect. This is great, I love this spot. Mm -hmm. I love it. Love it. I love it, I'll stay it, set the tent up. The wee tenty and hope we didn't forget anything. I know. I was like, I didn't even check that bag. <laughs> I like had You're like, it. No, you, we got it all. You got the tent poles. That's the most important thing. And I didn't bring well, a knife. Bag I forgot my knife. Thing. Can't believe I forgot my knife. That's like my, my Swiss. Yeah, you brought your Swiss Army knife. I was going to bring my knife. You're not in the rhythm yeah. of things. I didn't make a list because I just thought. Yeah, I was like, I know. I know what to pack. I know what to pack. And then, but I, I do want to make a list. I want to have a packing list. I want to give you guys a packing list uh, that you can download yeah. and various lists that I could even use. That would make it easier. Yeah, because the memory, this is not reliable. Oh man, the sun is finally coming out. It hasn't been out all day. This is awesome. It's shining on us saying, yes, this is the spot. Set up, ready for the night. Easy peas. How do you feel about bikepacking? Like it. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> I forgot how it feels to exert yourself. Mm. And then you feel good. Right? You know, this quarantine man. <sighs> Jacked you up. <laughs> yeah, all of us. But this Kona. It's getting you, getting you excited to explore a little more? Mm -hmm. I know. I was Ugh. meant to have a Kona. So my Kona. Hey, they didn't have your size. Oh. I just took your suggestion and I got the bike that you originally wanted. <laughs> now you got it. You want, now I got it. Now you got, got it. it. Now I got it. And you got you the bike side. packing version. Yeah, I'll put that on. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> that helps. Yeah, that's true. So see, it was meant to be. Nice. Taut. Taut. These sparkly lights. Hmm? You can see how sparkly they are. In person, it's like. Yeah, there you go. The whales keep running. That's Point Loma. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're looking out towards Mexico. The twinkling lights of Tijuana. Oh, I see it. Oh, this one. <sighs> huh. It's 
partly cloudy mm -hmm. dry it's very dry yeah that's been that's a huge change from our other travels yeah that's true yeah it's nice back here it's like there's pine trees yeah. and spruce trees and yeah. brush and chaparral but there's also some forests so that's really nice it's pretty and it's a monday so there's not as many atvs yeah it's very quiet we haven't i haven't i've only heard the border patrol that's it so those of you who have watched more of our vlogs will notice that our sleep setup's a little different we don't have our pad we don't have our big plush sleeping pad that's because one of the baffles popped well yeah i guess it popped um we're getting it replaced though xpad has an awesome warranty five or seven i think it's five years yeah. five years that's really good so we're waiting for that but we decided to test out just using our mats mm -hmm. both both of our individual mats with yeah the quilt yeah, so, it was all right yeah definitely yeah, you have air. I don't have air. Like a little bit. No, I've. I really think I would be totally fine if I didn't. If I hadn't like pulled my back earlier, that's the only. Yeah. That's the only discomfort I feel like, and that's from my injury, not from the mat. Right. I mean, it's it's not as plush to be sure, yeah. <laughs> but it is easier to set up, take down. I do kind of like that. And you don't have to worry about it getting spiked popped. if we're yeah popped if we're doing mm -hmm. um, more desert camping. But it also takes time to get used to sleeping on a firm surface mm -hmm. your body will adjust to that yak i agree it's misty in the valley down there it's really pretty climbing. Day two of two. It's an overnighter. We decided to split the climbing. Pulled off a little earlier than we thought, but it was perfect. Nearly perfect. Nothing can ever be perfect. That's from Bob L. DeBerry in New Zealand. Nothing <laughs> Quirky perfect. character I stayed with. He said, nothing can ever be perfect. It's really good to say, nearly perfect. Darren just handed me a little piece of the spruce. It so oh, it smells amazing. Mmm. Little baby tree. Like lemon pine. Mmm. Yeah. Oh god, this is a steep bit. You want some for the climb? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see. Right? Almost to the top though. Great views. <sighs> Take my helmet off when I'm climbing. It's a little bit more comfortable. <sighs> Downhills, put it on. <laughs> put the helmet on. <sighs> oh, he was not done. We are in the Ote Wilderness. O-T-A-Y. I'm guessing that is a indigenous name. Ote. Need to look that up. Of course, this is all indigenous land that we are recreating on here. Really thankful that we can be out here enjoying it. Look at these big boulders. 
boulders. Woo, some big boulders. Big rock. Oh, my ears are popping. <laughs> We're losing so many, so much ah, elevation. Oh. I skidded so much. Oh my god. Right here, I was like, Arr! so steep. Mm -hmm. Oh. Whew. Hands are killing you. Yeah, some skydivers. There was a bunch. Oh, you can see them down there. What'd you say? The pretty backside of the mountain. Yeah. So on the other side of the mountain, you got a little general store here, and there's also a campsite. Pico, uh, Pio, Pio Pico. Pio Pico campsite. Sometimes this happens. At feet, I don't know. It's not, it's not deep. It's not deep. picked up some friends along the way. Let me go through there. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm sure there's plenty. <laughs> Rip a hole. Friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we had to put our bikes over this. Mm -hmm. Darren's a badass, as you guys know. Lifted it to her and she lifted it over the barbed wire. Thank <laughs> for doing that. <laughs> I've been on many of Well, the, the trail is supposed to be there, but mm -hmm. it's just all this Arundas grown in over yeah. it and you couldn't pass it. What, what were you going to say? I said, you wouldn't be on a trip with me if you didn't have to go through a couple barbed bar wire fences. <laughs> <laughs> Little tiny share of the road sign. I liked in New Zealand and Australia, those signs are huge. Can't miss them. Ah, oh, there's the lake, the reservoir. We were up there, Darren, we were up there. Woo, it's crazy. Success, right? Total success. That was a fun. Yeah, it was a fun B day. It was a fun birthday weekend ride. Yeah, I really, really liked it. I wasn't sure at first because I was like, oh, border patrols everywhere. I don't know about this road. And then, I mean, Honestly. before that, it was awesome. Yeah. And then it was like one part where I was like, mm, and then it just got awesome again. So, hopefully, you guys had fun coming along with us on that yeah. journey. Let us know what trips you've got planned. Yeah. Get a weekend trip in there. Get do it in it. there. Schedule it. it. Schedule it. Just an overnight. I mean. 
stop the researching just do it just do it yeah that felt really really nice i literally just looked at google maps and was like what's this wilderness area yep. <laughs> that's kind of close to our house yeah looked up a bike route to see if there's a bike route there and there was that some guy had made on his blog and so we just followed that oh, that was a good trip fun fun all right let's go get a burger good yes job. good job all right thanks for coming remember to rat on and we'll see you in the next one bye